How's it going today, everyone? Uh, I hope wherever you're at in this world that you're safe and your families are all safe, and uh, hopefully it's sunshiny and bright wherever you're at. Um, before the video, though, I wanted to give a big shout out here to, uh, what's up, Aaron? <laughs> Man, me and Aaron grew up together, and uh, it's been a really long time since we've seen each other. And Aaron, thanks for taking the time to subscribe to the channel, and uh, I hope you're doing well, and I hope your family's doing well, and uh, we really do appreciate your support, man. Um, before we get into the next video also here, I just wanted to give a quick uh, shout out to all of you subscribers out there. Uh, thanks to every one of you for taking the time, and, and guys, some of you, I, I don't ever get notifications that you subscribed because, you know, just the way YouTube works, so, you know, please, if I don't mention you by name personally, don't take it personally. Uh, we really do appreciate every single one of you. It's just I don't know who everyone is. So uh, let's get on in the next video here. And uh, Aaron, <laughs> been way too long, but we'll have to catch up someday whenever we can. We'll see y'all guys later. Hey guys, Jeep video today. Uh, simple install here. We're just going to do some grab handles and Ali's JK. Uh, if you've watched the other videos, we pretty much explained how to put grab handles in there. We did get a little different brand for this one though, so we'll show you around those and uh, we'll get the grab handles installed here and uh, move on to the next project. See y'all soon. All right, so again, we didn't buy no high dollar grab handles. There's no reason to, folks. I mean, they're all made out of the same stuff. Doesn't matter where they come from. Uh, this is just a wild boar brand. <laughs> it came off of that really huge web-based internet uh, company that everybody buys stuff from that we're not associated with, so we're not gonna say their name, but I'm sure you know who they are. Um, Again, just like the other videos, uh, the other ones that I installed, they come with all the spacers and the hardware. Um, kind of hard to show on video, but again, the spacer is cut at an angle like this because when you pull this bolt out, this bolt is actually in there at an angle. So this spacer, the angle will correct that and make it come out where it will sit flush up against your handle. And then the notch is cut out so that the bar will just fit around it just like so, like that. And again, these were dirt cheap. There's no reason to buy no high dollar ones. Um, it comes with all the hardware. It's, it's all uh, metal. So, I mean, what more could you ask for, <laughs> you know? So anyway, we're working on the other side here. Uh, we're going to pull this bolt out, and there's one that goes in straight up. I'll show it to you over here. This one right here. Whoops, almost dropped it. Uh, 13 millimeter. That's it. That's all you need. Um, these come with the Allen wrench and everything. So all you need is a 13 millimeter socket. Pull the two bolts out. It comes with all the supplied hardware, the handle, the new Allen wrench. Bam, boom, bang, done. Just like that. Let's get them put in, and we'll show you what it looks like. We're going to keep it a secret that I have an impact over there on the truck that would get these right out. <laughs> hey, it's just like math. You got to start out with pen and paper before you can use the calculator. So the real fun part is getting the handle up there because you only have to hold four pieces at the same time. Nothing to it. So there's a... There's a, a, a spacer that goes on top of the handle that goes up to the body and then the, the supplied hardware Allen bolt goes in through the handle in the bottom. So the bolt through the handle, through the spacer, plus the wrench you're holding the bolt with. Piece of cake, nothing to it. Take 14. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, once you get the top one started just a little bit to hold it up there, then you gotta wiggle in the uh, then you can wiggle in the side spacer right here and the supplied hardware through there. And see, remember I was telling you this bolt doesn't go in there straight. See, it sits down at an angle like this. So these spacers that come with it have a have an angle cut on the end so that it lines up and, and mates up with the handle flush. 
and then you just run in the new bolts. Voila, one grab handle. Take 167. I'm trying to get the side bolt to go in. And like I say, with it being at that little angle, it, it is a little tricky to try to get all the pieces to line up at once. Take 264. No, not really. That's uh, just with the bolts being in there at an angle. And, you know, Jeep uses Loctite on the factory bolts, so it leaves a lot of residue in the hole. And they're just tight. Anyway, just a matter of putting the supplied hardware in there with the spacers and the handle. Tighten it up. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. And boom. Just like that. Grab handles. Like I say, nothing to it. It's a matter of getting the hardware, the spacers, the handle. One, two, three, four, five, six parts, whatever, all up there in the same time with two hands. God, God everybody wishes they had more hands sometimes. <laughs> anyway, there it is, front grab handles. Voila. Dirt cheap. We paid like 30 buckish on that big mail order store that we, we're not associated with, so we can't say their name. But uh, there's no reason to buy no high dollar grab handles. Like I say, they're made out of the exact same stuff. They come with the same bolts, the same metal handles, the same metal spacers. It's all made out of the same steel uh, or, or aluminum, whichever one you want. We've got steel ones for this one. I did use the aluminum ones uh, when I did the install video back a while back on my Jeep, but it doesn't matter. There's, there's again, there's just no reason to buy no high dollar parts just, just so you can say you have a name on your Jeep. Uh, you know, now suspension components yeah guys shock stuff like that yeah you got to buy a reputable brand i mean because that's that, that's some serious stuff going on underneath there but when it comes to doing handles and door latches and you know straps to extend the doors out and everything like that there's no reason to shop for brands um anyway there it is they, they work great uh we're gonna get the back ones put in now all right so here's our rear rear, uh, rear grab handle again a handle the supplied spacers, the supplied hardware. It comes with the Allen wrench, uh, all metal construction. They're made out of steel. Um, nothing to it. Dirt cheap, like I say. Uh, let's get them put in there. To put the back ones in, all you got to do is take the two bolts out of the overhead speaker rack on the roll bar. It's just the two little side bolts right here. They're eight, uh, they, I'm sorry, they have a 10 millimeter head on them. Back them out, chunk them in your toolbox, whatever you're going to do with them. Uh, Get your handle, your new spacers up there, all your new hardware, pop the handle up there, put two screws in it, done. It's it's literally the probably one of the easiest uh, little mods that you can do to your Jeep. Um, it looks cool and, and it helps you get in and out. I mean, I'm surprised really how much we do use ours now that we've gotten them installed. And uh, <laughs> definitely when you're riding some trails, uh, it, it gives you a good place to hold on to, especially when you're kind of rocking up and down some boulders and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get this other side put in. We'll finish buttoning up that side, and then we'll show you what they look like. There it is. One set of front and rear grab handles. Turned out really nice. They're really sturdy. Uh, once you get them in there and get them all tightened up, piece of cake. On to the next project. See y'all later.